You're listening to PoePolitikin.com. We got you stuck. Got you stuck off the realness. Welcome to the PoePolitikin Show. Founded in 2008, PoePolitikin is a hip-hop meets self-help brand. With each interview, we teach the babies and share success secrets with you, the listener. Past guests of the PoePolitikin Show include Yo Gotti, Currency, MC Light, BG, Dead Press, Rashida, Project Pat, and more. We also showcase the future upcoming stars of hip-hop. Subscribe on iTunes and get automatic updates of each podcast episode. All right, y'all listening to your man, Kay Hill, and I'm rocking with Pro Politician. Thank you for supporting Real Hip Hop. Just keep up the movement, man. Check me out. Check my whole team out at Kickerverse MG on all social media outlets. Peace. Feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right, working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right, working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. Yo, old flowers on top of new graves, fairy tales of freedom taught by new slaves. My guns to keep the narrative honest, but show the flow was Ivan Drago. I spit the same type of punchlines that killed Apollo And learned to shoot it backwards for the follow Ain't perfected, I just cop the laser for the style points Wake your feet up in your building, play the lobby Settle drama with the loud joints Blow the 40 in front of shorty and show her early that the muscle real Do it to your niggas for a couple mil I'm sweating on me get the new guy Hey yo, bro, come on, come on Get busy, buddy, get some I mean, there ain't shit else to do. Look, you only put enough work in. Nah, oh, fuck that. You better get busy or we're gonna have a problem. Yeah, nah. You know what? Even better. Go get busy. All right, all right. Go. I got it. Let's I got go. it. I got Let's it. it. Let's go. All right. Seeing police arresting me, so I gotta stop that possibility from coming like vasectomy. Be smarter with this money and this weaponry, especially walking up the block with them bangles. I stop and risk to get niggas about to die. Worth that everything that's holy, everything my father told me continues to shape and mold me. Better than whatever school has sold me. How's your partner doing? <laughs> I don't know. You about to go meet him? <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Yeah, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. It's like I'm pitching on the corner with the work at night. They feeding for it because the work is tight. Get it, then I whip it till the work is right. And serve the people with the work is right. Whatever you sell and shell in the chamber for the danger. Familiar with the banger. Got to know the peace enough to treat the peace like a stranger. Do the knowledge on the spell and then you get the meaning. Got these scars from my tussle with my inner demons. I'm wide awake but still dreaming of a time and I can sleep a little better knowing that the family is taken care of. Shotty on the dresser with the three and the quarter slug. Body on the stretcher, you was dying to play the thug. Rest easy, I pause enemies permanent, 718. Fly shit about it, show this used to be a daydream. Squad to do it to you for the money like the 18. Hopping out the black van and spraying at the mainstream. Yo, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans is what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. Feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Working right, working right. Listen, I'm feeling out of this world, not sure the gravity is working right. Let's show these humans what the work is like. Welcome back to PoePolitikin.com, your home for self-help meets hip-hop. Make sure you download our app on iTunes and like, subscribe, comment, forward, share this interview. I'm now politics with my homie K. Hill. How you doing, bro? Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, 
What's going on, Paul? How you doing, fam? I'm great, man. So describe your background. Let us know where you're from, your hometown. I'm from uh, I'm from a small town called Wilson, North Carolina. But I've been residing in the Raleigh Durham uh area for maybe like a decade plus. Okay. So Raleigh Durham so you... about, Yeah, the Raleigh Durham area. I mean we got you know, we got prominent talent coming out of here anyway and uh you know I'm just proud to be a part of that move now. Yeah, I've been saying I actually had uh I had Big Pooh on the show a few times, so you are you a fan of Little Brother? Oh yeah, oh yeah, most definitely, man, most definitely. If All you right. check the discography, if you check the discography, me and uh, Rapper Two actually got a jam together. Okay. And um, I was fortunate enough to, you know, be in a couple of sessions when they was wrapping up the listening. Hmm. That's what's up. So talk oh, about yeah. your musical background. How do you got involved, involved with music? Um, I mean, I uh, just started making started making music when I was fourteen. Then I uh, started DJing a little bit at the community center. Took things, uh, took things seriously around 2000, between 2002, 2004, when I started getting placements. I had my first, um, I had, I had my first 12-inch placement with a small label called Nabrina. And in the same year, I, I got placed on, uh, Green Merchant, Ninth Winners Green Merchant Volume 1 that same year. So when I seen, you know, the, uh, the, the, the prints and all the stuff that came out of, you know, having those placements, I started taking things seriously, man. But I thought, but I always, you know, I always looked at myself as a producer first. I got into, you know, uh, in seeing and all that stuff because I didn't have any artists to work with, and the ones that I did work with, they didn't, they didn't have the same vision that I had to execute the songs that I, the way that I wanted to execute. So you know, I grabbed them like myself, and you know, uh, some people took me up on my offer, and I just kept rocking. So what, uh, what do you use to make your beats? Wow, man, I, um, I started out, I started out with hardware. I started out with the ASR 10, the ASR X, but today I use FL Studio and um, an MPC controller. Yeah, FL Studios, that's Fruity Loose, right? Yeah, yeah, I try to make it sophisticated. You see how I try to spice it up and make it all, you know, <laughs> I didn't want to say Fruity Loose and whatnot. People don't have a spot for it when I say Fruity Loose, man. But, but when to I me, it seems like Fruity Loose been out for a while now. It seems like a lot of man, people use it. Man, I had to tell, um, you know that day that uh, I told you that I was DJing, you know, for these kids or whatever. I had to have a conversation with them, man. I said, look, so most of your favorite uh, producers use Fruity Loops, man. Pharrell, Timberland, uh, what's, what's, the, what's the new guy named Metro Boomer? Yeah. A lot, lot of cats use it, man. They just don't reveal themselves, you know what I'm saying? So what, is, what are some things, because I remember me, man, because I always kind of wanted to get in the producer game, man. I get the free loops, but then I kind of get overwhelmed, and I just push away. So, what are some things like? I guess somebody trying to learn how to use it, and they want to start a free loops. What do you suggest they do to learn about it? YouTube, yeah, YouTube, YouTube all day. Just first of all, just dive in, play around with it. You know, learn how to use it. But man, Google and YouTube, man, are your teachers. And then can they you know what I'm saying? The free do- demo, or they gotta get a certain one. They can use the free demo, but they won't be able to. They won't be able to save it. They won't be able to go back and manipulate it the way that they want to. Like if you hear something that you made and you feel like you can improve on it, you won't go back. You won't be able to go back and uh, modify that. Mm. But it's, it's it's worth buying because once you buy it, you get lifetime updates. Mm. And see, when I bought it, when I bought it, it was like a hundred dollars. I bought that joy early, you know what I'm saying? So I've been getting updates ever since then. Mm-hmm. So it's, def- it's definitely a program that's worth buying. A lot of people have made great careers off of using it. You know, it, it has definitely, uh, I think it as far as to say, it's definitely helped, you know, feed my family in some ways. All right. And then are you a fan of uh, basketball or, or sports? I'm not a fanatic fanatic, but yeah, I get into it every now and then. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna act like a basketball team, but you get six people, so you can have uh, it can it can be like four four rappers, two producers, like how many? You get you get six people, but it gotta be rappers and producers. So who would you name? Okay, if you had a I'm team. Gonna name, uh, I'm gonna name Royce. I'm gonna name Nas. I'm gonna name Kane and Rakim for my MC. Uh huh. For my produ- for my producers, oh wow, man! For my producers, uh, gosh, man, this is tough. I 
I, I'm, I'm a big fan of a lot of producers, man. But I'm gonna have to throw Primo in there because I got, I just, I, I love Primo. And then I'm gonna have to say, uh, just to get, just to get that little variation, I'm gonna have to say, um, Flying Lotus, man. Hmm. And then who, yeah. what would be the label? What would be the label? Yeah. For that, you that, mean the name that, of the, the name of the label? No. What? So what record label would you pick to to for how the oh. artists on this? Oh man, Ooh. right now, right now, my favorite label out right now is uh, I would have to say it's between Stone's Throw and Mellow Music Group. Hmm. What's up? Yeah, because they they always give me something to look forward to, man, and it's all it's. And like ninety five percent of the time, it's always like super dope. And then I want you to describe your style as an art, as an artist, as a producer. My style as an artist, producer, man, I'm I'm wow, man. I, I give you like as an MC, I'm gonna remind you of a time when you had to have like super project. You had to have a dope voice for one. <clears throat> and you had to have variation with your delivery. Like you just couldn't be monotone. And you had to, and you had to, you know, you kind of had to have that uh, that projection with it. I don't want to say loud, but you know, I come from the era where cats was loud, man. Uh, like straight up, you know, the Chuck D era, cats were era, stuff like that. You know, I, I like I like the animated MC and whatnot. Yeah. As a producer, as a producer, you know, um. I first got into it, you know, when I first got into it, I was a big fan of Marley Marr. Marley Marr, Herbie Lovebug, um, gosh, um, Bomb Squad, you know, cats like that, man. So it's like, whenever I make a beat, man, I'm still doing layers. You know, I'm still trying to have that swing in it. I'm still trying to, you know, keep it a little soulful. But I want it to be not that, not that soft soulful stuff. I want that grit, you know. I'm still, I'm still in that mode right there, man. I love the newer stuff, and I definitely love for the newer stuff. But it's like for the Stallone and the Weathers project, man. I just took it back to what I knew, like, like naturally. You know what I'm saying? Now I say, who do you make your music for? Like, who's your like your target fan base? My target fan, honestly, um, people who just appreciate that raw, man. Like, I don't have a specific demographic or age range for it. It's like, listen, man, if you just want that raw and you want lyrics and you want concept, you know, that come see us. That's what we're about. Like, we like to have fun, too, but it's like in the music, you know, we just like to keep, we, 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 like, we like to keep it to the, you know, we like to keep it basic, man, like straight up and down. You know, we don't want to sound basic, but as far as, like, how we... Structure and manufacture songs and whatnot, man. We just want to give you that raw, man. Make sure you, you got those cracking runs. Make sure you got a dope concept that don't sound like, you know, common I used to love or whatever. <laughs> you know, come with something original. And just, just give you that creativity all over again. And I say that's the Lone and Weathers. I want you to talk about that because that sounds like it's Rocky inspired with the name. Man, listen. Wow, I wish my uh, I wish my partner was on with me, man. He can really like get to the, the meat and the grit of it, but I'm gonna try to sum it up the best way I can. When me and Precise Politics hooked up, um, we wanted to go back to the the MC producer, you know, era. You know, sort of like uh Eric B and Rockin, Jazz Jeff and the Fresh Prince, you know, one MC more producer mode. So he wanted to come up with a name for the group. He was like, Why don't we name our group Rocky and Apollo? And I'm like, mm, that's dope. But it sounds kind of obvious, man. You know, it sounds kind of expected and whatnot. And, you know, I really don't want to have any... I ain't want to have no issues with, uh... What is it? United Artists? Whatever. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't want to catch no lawsuit or nothing. So one day, man, I was just brainstorming. And I was like, wow, man, I, I like the Rocky and Apollo concept, but we got to come up with something else. And then it hit me, man. I was like, wait a minute. So that's what Stallone was Rocky. Carl Weathers was, um, Apollo oh, Creed. Yeah. And I'm like, man, why don't we just snap some, I, I, I called him, I think he was at work, man, I called him, I was like, yo, I got it, I got it, yo, he was like, what? He was like, bro, you ain't ready. He said, what, what, what? I said, man, check this out, how about we name the group Stallone and Weathers? He thought about it for a minute, and he was like, yo, wow, because it's like this, man, when you're Stallone and Weathers, you don't know what it is, you, you, ain't, you don't know that we do music, you don't know whether we make beer, 
we don't know we don't know what we do. Like we can <laughs> we can grow older one day, get into a better venture, call it still on the weather, and it'll be all right. You can't yeah. you can't stagnate that to anything musical. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It almost it almost sounds like a law firm, man. Right. So and that's and that's how I want it to present us. I want us to have, you know, I want us to have that gritty material, but when it came to marketing and how we presented ourselves, man, I still want it to look classy. That's why if you look at the um, if you look at the artwork for the um, for the project cover, like you don't see us like with sagging jeans on and chains and all that stuff. Like, yo, man, we dressed up. I got a cigar in my mouth. My man got like the, you know, he got the mask over his face to kind of keep the hip hop, but kind of keep it, you know, mysterious as well. You remember when uh, Wu Tang first came out? And Ghostface, like, you didn't see Ghostface's face for, like, a year. Yeah, you know who that. he was, yeah. Right. We wanted to bring that feel back right there, man. But still, you know, keep your art scene and whatnot. All right. And then what are some of your other current projects you're working on? You uh, right, now, right, as now? right now, as of right now, I'm gearing up um, for one of our fellow, one of our fellow um, artists that's uh, on our label, Eternal the MC. I'm working on his project. And then I'm, I'm working on the, um, the Salon and the Weather School League. I might jump back in the booth. We'll see. But um, those are my main things right now. I'm working on an instrumental series, the Salon and the Weather School League, and my man, Eternal the MC project. Whatever comes along in between, like, hopefully, you know, I'll be able to add it to that lineup. But that's what I got popping right now. Then talk about some of your daily habits. My daily habits? Yep. <laughs> Wow, man. I mean, I got the nine to five and whatnot. Um, you know, I play every day all day. You know, I'm always checking in to see what, what you know, what's the new joints that drop back. Because, you know, we live in a time now, man, where, where music drops every day. Something oh. fresh, something new, something crazy drops every day. And I try, especially with me being a DJ, you know, I try to stay in tune with what's going on. Those are my daily habits, man. And, you know, just going home and keeping it with my fans. And yeah, what's your interest outside of music? Wow, are you ready for this? What's hey, up? You know, you know what goes hand in hand, man. I love, uh, I love comic book, man. Comic book movies and comic book TV shows and all that stuff, man. Huge fan. I love uh, autobiographies, uh, especially African American autobiographies. And th- those are my things right there, man. Love it to death. And where do you see yourself five years from now? Uh, on the same saying, uh, shout out to the um, shout out to the staff at uh, Pro Politics for the opportunity, you know, for helping me get to this point. Yeah, I said, where you see yourself five years from now? Mm. I, I really don't know, fam. I really don't know. I can't even answer that right now. At least they alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna say some. I'm gonna say some names, and then you tell okay. me who influenced you the most out of the names. All right, bet. All right, so I'm, I'm gonna start with Rocky first. Mr. T or Drago? Mr. T. All right, Apollo or uh, Rocky? Apollo. All right, Batman or Superman? Superman. Uh, Spawn or Spider Man? <laughs> Spider Man, yo. Alright, uh Big Pun or Big L? That was good. Um I'm gonna have to say Big L though. Ghostface or Rakim? Rakim. Uh let's see. K R S one or Chuck D. I'm gonna have to give it K R S one, man. Uh Lil Uzi Vert or Lil Yachty? No Uzi Vert all day. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Uh, what do you like to say? To, uh, what advice would you give to a new artist? Don't give up, man. Stick with it. Put your heart into it. You know, stick with it. It's not going to come overnight. It might take years, man. Um, don't don't look from don't look from support from your day ones or whatnot. You know, if they support you, that, that that's great. If they don't. You got to keep rocking because a lot of times it, it'll be, you know, because people can't believe y'all from the same place that you're trying to do something and they ain't. So I say, man, just press a bit, man. Press on, network, you know, don't be a hermit. 
Don't look at networking as, you know, d riding or whatever. Like, get out there and meet people, man. Shake people's hands. Smile on people's faces, man. Because this game is built off of who, anything. Not just this game, but it's built off of who you know. It's built off of relationships and whatnot. So, yeah, that, that, that's, what, that's the advice that I would give, man. And study your craft every day. I don't care if it's for one hour. You know, always do something to enhance your craft. What's the best way to grow your fan base? And getting out there meeting people. Like, social, social media is cool, but it ain't nothing like that, you know, that uh, human interaction. There's nothing like that human interaction, bro. So you mean like doing shows, or what you mean by getting out there doing, doing it? Doing shows, going to events, going to other people's shows that you're not involved in. You know, anything, man. Being in the mall, passing out your flyers, or leaving flyers on people's cars or whatever. That's the best way. That's it, that human interaction, man. Because if you take care if you take care of that right there, when you do start being in your online presence, you're gonna have that much of, that much more of a force to be with it. Yeah, I guess it's different if somebody like meets you in person, then follow you on social media instead of just following you on social media and they never met you in person. Right, right, right. Right. What would you like to say to your fans, people been supporting your career so far? I'm sorry, say that again? What would you like to say to your fans? Man, look, I like to say I like to say thank you. Keep spreading the music. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna try to we're gonna make sure we get y'all something at least every month or every couple of weeks until the full release come out. And just man, just tell everybody you know about us. That's it. All right, man, I wanna say thank you for coming through politicking with me. Word up. Thank you for the opportunity, man. No doubt. You want to give me your social media and everything? Yeah. Um, my social media for my uh, for my label is Kickerverse MG. That's everything. That's uh, Twitter. That's Instagram. That's Facebook. Kickerverse MG. No dashes, no capital letters. Just like it sounds. Kick A verse MG. MG stands for Music Group. On YouTube, just type in Kickerverse. We found all our videos and whatnot. PoePolitikin.com. The PoePolitikin Show is brought to you by Audible. With over 180,000 titles to choose from, Audible is great for any continuous learner wanting to grow and expand their knowledge and insight. Go to www.audibletrial.com slash PO audio and get an audio book of your choice free with a 30 day trial. After the trial, your paid membership will begin at $14.95 per month. With your membership, you will receive one credit every month. Good for an audio book on Audible. Cancel before your trial ends and you will not be charged. So go to www.audibletrial.com slash P.O. Audio and download a free book by Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, Napoleon Hill, Les Brown, Damon John, and more. Always remember that knowledge is power.